Hello everyone, I'm Tiara Chardé. I am back with another video. This is a message for those of you who may be experiencing some sort of spiritual warfare or psychic attacks. I just want to give you a little bit more information on um, what possibly could be going on in your situation. So make sure you take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's get into it, okay? So... For some of you, right, we, we talked about it in the past few videos, make sure you check it out about psychic attacks and spell work. So many of you literally do have someone or people sending you negative energy to throw you off your path, to make you confused so that you forget your purpose, um, and also doing sorts of spells and all sorts of weird stuff to... Um, try to steal your destiny or try to steal some of your limelight which is not ever gonna happen you are chosen you're a child of the most high right your steps are ordered you walk an ordained path right but i do want to highlight the fact that psychic attacks can come through other people they can come through and you know try to um, misalign your energy and get you focused on the wrong things, okay? And I just wanted to highlight that. Some of the ways that these attacks can come in is say, you know, you have a sibling that you're, in, you're living with and, um, you know, they come in, they, they're carrying this sort of energy or they're gossiping, they're sharing with you what somebody was telling you and it disrupts your energy, it makes you upset. It makes you want to fight or makes you want to lash out and, you know, defend your honor. And for some of you, you're needing to see that that in itself is a form of an attack to throw you off course. And your sibling may not know that that's what's happening. They may not know that the enemy is working through them. But on your side, it feels like an attack. It feels like, okay, now I have to defend myself or this is throwing me off. Or, you know, I just spent the past hour praying and meditating and hoping for this, you know, a, a breakthrough in my life. And now somebody is coming in with some information that is throwing me off. I need you to know that that is also a form of a psychic attack. And for my chosen ones, I, you know, you spent a long time on your journey, healing, clearing, purging, releasing, doing your inner work. Uh, many of you have gone to therapy. Many of you have engaged in counseling or coaching mentorship so you worked really hard to build yourself up and to empower yourself and um it's kind of hard for certain energies and people and beings to kind of throw you off path right because you're so steadfast you, you've been doing your inner work but that is why the people who are in your life they are being used as a vessel or they could be used as a vessel the people on your job you know what i mean they can come in a psychic attack doesn't have to be like some entity hiding behind the scenes necessarily it could be just you know an energy that is hopping into your colleague and now you're feeling like you need to scrap or now you're feeling like okay now my work environment isn't isn't copacetic now they're plotting on me at work so i wanted to highlight that the people in your life can be used as agents. And this is why it is so important for you to surround yourself with people who are of a high vibration, an equal a vibration as you or a higher vibration as you, right? So make sure you're taking a look at your circle in this season, especially, you know, it's 2022. We're moving into elevated consciousness and we're moving into really living in our soul's purpose. So it's important to take a look at the people in your life. Um, are they going to stay? Are they going to go? This also applies to your romantic partner. You know, some of the, the psychic attacks can come in where, you know, they're just not, they're just not meshing with you or they're just not in agreement with you. It seems like you're always bumping heads with them on a particular thing, or it seems like there's always this push and pull when it comes to you and your path and the things that you're needing to do on your path you're wanting to take a look at who is in your partner's life who is in the area who is in the vicinity of your partner because they could be throwing this person off 
so a couple of things that you can do to um i guess circumvent this is putting up healthy boundaries around your energy know that you're here on assignment know that you're chosen know that there's a call over your life and do your due diligence to have those spiritual boundaries up so that's absolutely prayer meditation fasting detoxing affirmations sound healing um reading journaling your inner child your shadow side all of that stuff helps you have clear boundaries because it raises your vibration you're healing so you're letting go of all the heavy stuff so that you can raise higher and higher okay so that's one of the ways to have clear boundaries um don't engage with the energy try to stay separate from any type of unnecessary conflict right because we're going to have conflict in our day-to-day -day life like we're going to bump heads with people we may not be on the same page all the time but it's important for you to not engage in that type of behavior um try to step back as much as possible and we do have some energies going on right now y'all where like i said people can be quick to anger people can be quick to pop off you know people can just hop into rage out of nowhere and so it's it's mine it's important for you to be mindful of that and you know not really engage um another thing that i had wrote down was remember your mission right that's another way to protect yourself remember the mission is the mission to be combative with other people or is the mission to liberate souls right so take whatever your particular uh mission is your purpose is but really remind yourself of that so that you don't engage, so that you can stay away from um, those type of situations and that energy, okay? So that is a quick message for you all. Um, I hope it resonated. Absolutely subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Also, we are enrolling right now for the Pussy Portal program. We start February 22nd. I literally just uploaded multiple ways for you to enroll. So there's different payment options and things like that so you can get in where you fit in. And we absolutely talk about spiritual warfare and psychic attacks in the Pussy Portal program because that comes with the job of the high priestess. That is a part of your responsibility to identify it, to navigate it, to heal it and transmute it and clear it out of your way because you're going places. You have somewhere to be. You got a crown to wear and you got a throne to sit on, honey, okay? And we need to get you in tip-top shape so that you can be ready for this life. So you can be ready to be the new matriarch of your bloodline. That's who you're rising to be. So I help you do that, all right? So I hope to see you there. All of the information is in the description box. Peace and love. Talk soon.